Hey guys, Dan here and welcome back to another video and another reaction. And today, we're not gonna be doing only one video for the channel. We're gonna be doing not two, not three, but four videos for the channel. Sadly, I had two days ago to... I had to delay a video, Cable Calamity, the, from Team Neighborhood 2. And uh, that uh, screwed the whole schedule. That screwed everything up. To, yesterday, I was going to do two videos. The Randomizer Rampage and also Meet the Highlander, which are both videos from The Winglet. And they're both gonna come out today, but not only that, the third video of the day, which was going to be the only video of the day of us reacting to The Living Thompson will also come out. And not only that, we're gonna also be reacting to A Slice of Life Episode 5 made by Blackmas. Hi Blackmas. And uh, I hope that you guys enjoy it. Uh, I'm gonna be working a lot to do that. I'm gonna spend, I think, the low hours of uh, today's day uh, making these. So we have everything set and ready. So I really hope that you can visit all four of them when they come out. And also be sure to leave one of the five likes if you can. Be sure to leave a like on this video for Winglet 2. And also if you can, subscribe, share the video, share the channel, leave a comment, tell me how your day was, join the Discord so you're, so you're able to suggest videos. I take uh, suggestions exclusively from the Discord now. So it would be nice if you could show up there and leave a suggestion. Okay? I hope that we're all set. I hope that they explained it all. Just so you remind, four videos today, so be sure to check the channel. And, uh, yeah, I think that's it. Let's get to a thousand views and... Uh, Maybe a thousand subscribers. I believe it. So, let's go. That would be Skull's dream to be able to lift Sasha and use it. <laughs> we saw the sniper doing the taunt in the back. Thank God we cannot draw out your own team. That would definitely be a uh, thing Soldier would do. Trying to backstab someone with the, uh, with uh, I don't know the what the name in English, but the Ulapul cable cable. I miss the Sandman being able to stun people like that. I wish that would actually happen on Halloween. In the fullness of time, by the power of the Bolonomicon. Marasma got a random uh, crate drop. I meant to do that. It will go badly for you. You watch. I wish that uh, we could actually get one player to be able to use the monoculus like that. In a way we can because we have the spells. Nice. So guys, uh, this was the reaction. We had a little 
thing. I had to cut the video. Sorry about that. And uh, I really like this. I remember when this came out and I was watching this that uh, every single time that uh, Winglet got uh, a cool looking cosmetic on the TF2 Marks, I would uh, feel like, damn, I wish I could have that. Now I did have a, I have a ton of cosmetics and I think that I should thank Winglet to help me get addicted to having hats in TF2. But uh, this video is very cool, just the whole idea of randomizing things on TF2 was such a great concept from the beginning. And I can so much relate to Heavy being just this guy that uh, cannot get a good loadout, cannot get a good combination of weapons and uh, just he's just trying to do his part but he's just failing immensely. Not everyone like the scout or the medic and the sniper for what we saw are are able to get good loadouts from the start and most likely they are going to just uh, feed the kill feed uh, like heavy and uh, a few things that uh, I got to remember notice or remember on notice for example we got uh, uh, the reference the easter egg of the sniper yeah this one right here behind medic this one is the like uh, the wow. winglet uh, the winglet, uh, not catchphrase, but uh, mark, like every single video that he makes, his, he, there's this sniper doing the sniper taunt, where when you press G with the sniper rifle, he actually does the taunt like this, like says, delay, or something like that. And uh, it reminds me also a lot about the uh, Musilk's videos. I remember where once he was playing the zombies on TF2, like TF2 zombies, and uh, he made the, the, the map uh, be this one, the Halloween version, and he forgot that Marasmus would show up. And uh, I think that Marasmus showing up on a randomizer would just be pure chaos. I do not know if that's an actual game mode that uh, people usually play on randomizer or a usual map that they do, or if it's like a reoccurring one, but it would be really funny. And for the longest time when I started to play TF2, I thought that Marasmus actually used this staff, but this is a staff that you can actually get as a player, and Marasmus' staff is a different one. And uh, yeah, I just believed, I did not notice or think that uh, this would actually be randomized. <laughs> but uh, beyond that, I think that's everything I have to say. Just happy by the end that uh, uh, Heavy got uh, his skill feed and it's nice to see that Scout actually comes for a hug to form with Marasmus to just be able to try to get safe. Just being actually scared from Heavy. And I like to think that uh, Marasmus' hand gesture like this, this movement, that is actually him like a shielding Scout in, protect in a protective sort of way. But guys, this was the reaction, the first one of four of today, so be sure to come back to the channel and maybe check them out. We're gonna have this one, we're gonna have uh, the Midi Islander, also from Winglet. We're gonna be having the Living Tombstone video about uh, Dying of Fire, or about Minecraft music. And also, we're gonna be having the A Slice of Life episode 5 from Blackmas. So guys, be sure to come back and also be sure to leave a like for Winglet. Give one of the five likes that I always ask on the video. And leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe, ring the bell, share the video, share the channel, join the Discord. There's a lot of ways you can help the channel. Thank you so much. I hope that we can get to a thousand soon. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Okay? Bye.